two teams ready, they hope, to clear the final hurdle. The routes to this stage have been fascinating, but now it is Europa League final night, and the fans are beginning to pour into the stadium. It is Chelsea, they face Arsenal. Well, the anticipation is over, and now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Stuart Robson. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It's Chelsea up against Arsenal. Well, Derek, this should be a top class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game, but I think this is too close to call. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Raheem Sterling. for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. It is the Europa League final and they are underway. Granit Xhaka. Martin Odegaard. And promising stuff from Arsenal. An incisive pass. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Kai Havertz. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who is going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out the situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Bukayo Saka. Jacka with it. Gabriel Martinelli. Oh, what an opportunity. Defending of the highest class to stop him. Might jump in front. And nicely parried away. Ngolo Conte. James and Mount well not quite what he wanted to do with the pass out of play and an Arsenal throw in forthcoming Arsenal have given it away Havertz. And Sterling has it. 
an option, Havertz! Havertz! And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. And there's the delivery. The clearance wasn't decisive. And Sterling has it. It opens up for Havertz. And he clears it out of harm's way. Committed challenge. Parte. Martin Odegaard. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Shielding the ball superbly. Mount. Promising attack, this. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Jesus. Martin Odegaard. Gabriel Jesus. And he read it well, intercepting it. Mount. Now with James. Here's Mount. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Yes, a stalemate so far. Will it continue? Reese James. Sterling has it. That is that for the first half here. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Havertz. Kukureya. Gabriel Martinelli it's with Gabriel Granit Xhaka Martin Odegaard Not showing good defensive judgment Kai Havertz on to Jorginho And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Shown inside. Gabriel Jesus! Oh, a goal! To put Arsenal in front on this massive occasion. And how significant could that be in the grand scheme of things here? Well, as we see it again, just watch how well the cross is delivered. Low, hard and accurate, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Jorginho, and Havertz. Sterling, doing well to keep possession. Oh, but they've lost it now. Bukayo Saka. 
Martin Erdegaard. And Golo Conte. I must say, this looks promising. Kai Havertz. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Gabriel Jesus. 20 minutes remaining. Martinelli. And Chelsea come away with it. Havertz. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Martin Odegaard. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Gabriel Jesus. And struggling to get the shot off. Well, strong play here. But just like that, possession changes hands. Koulibaly. Jorginho. And Havertz. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. It needs an accurate cross. Kai Havertz. Can he get the shot off? Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. And my goodness, they deserve it. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. Well, relief and joy, I would say. What a great achievement this is, and so well-deserved, as you mentioned. They were excellent tonight. What a good performance that was. The party can certainly start now. Yes, a party to last throughout the year, I should think. They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, these are always great moments for any player. This is the culmination of a great tournament they've had. They fully deserve this victory. Every player played his part tonight. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Well, wonderful scenes. The players are making the most of this. It's been a great competition for them. And I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible. One more trophy left, why not? Yes. And now they get to enjoy the moment with the fans who have made the journey here for the final. Well, they'll be loving this. They really have back their team throughout this competition. They have a great bond with the players, don't they? That's lovely to see. Yes, it is all about a shared experience. These celebrations will run long into the night. Well, they need to take all this in, don't they? These are moments to savour. It's been a great night for everybody involved. You are looking at the UEFA Europa League winners.